What is up guys? It's The Real Deal. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, we are taking on the Disa Caves today, level 11. And I just actually filmed this and I messed something up. I wanted to show you guys the end results. So actually, we're going to have to buy some more stamina. Do that in a second. Uh, but show you the difference between level 10 and 11. So level 10, we are getting a 40% chance to get legendary gear. And at 11, we're getting 70%. So that's a big jump, um, almost double. And, you know, it's really going to increase the chance for us to get that gear. Um, we've only been playing the game for like three weeks and a couple of days. And I do this every single day. So you need to make sure that you are buying full stamina with your diamonds every single day. And how I decide, I sort of rotate. So if I'm strong in Commanders, I'm not going to do Sinsara's Marsh. If I need gear, Disa's Cave. And then if I need some sort of prototypes, then I'll do Terradome. But mainly I focus on Disa Caves. You know, gear is huge in gacha games. It's always going to be what carries you in general. In most of the time, that will carry you the most. So let's just go for it, guys. Um, so let's look at the team. We've got Orthan, Taylor, Botmark, uh, Sorietta, and Serena. Um, I'll sort of talk through their roles in a moment. Uh, Orthan, he's new to the squad, and I'm so he's just been released as well into the game. I'm so glad I chose him. I think it was Siri over Siri. He is god tier. He does insane damage. He's a tank. He does knockdown. He does it all. He's just an amazing hero. Um, so for the commander, we're using Brynhild. Um, she's going to help our hunters or you know multi-stage damage heroes. Um, yeah, she they, yeah she helps a lot. So it's really going to bump up our damage. Then for the prototypes, so I've chosen Orb of Domination, and this is going to help our Hunters, Energy, Assassins, Vanguard heroes. Um, basically, it's going to reduce damage done to them. They also, well, basically, whenever they take a critical hit, they are going to put a big fat shield on themselves. Um, well, they have a good 30% ch chance of putting a shield on themselves equal to 5% of their max HP for 5 seconds. Um, this is great for survivability. So originally I was using damage and I did wipe. So then I decided to try and go for survivability and it made a huge difference. Then we've got dominate. So this um, basically will gain, we will gain 10% damage reduction and reduce the attacker's AS. I don't know if that works on bosses. It will definitely work on like weak minions and waves, but I'm not sure about bosses. Um, whenever they receive a critical damage, this effect can stack up to five times. So I would not take, just to show you, like, you need to read what your prototypes do. So if we were to use Astral Strike, we would gain nothing for this because there's no way you are going to be able to stun a boss with this. Um, this is more for, like, story mode, campaign. Um, arena would be pretty good, but it's not going to be good for the boss. And then we've got Scholar's Monument. So whenever an allied hero sustains critical damage from the enemy, so I mean, sorry, critical damage, it means a critical hit. Uh, all heroes shall recover 1% of their max HP. This is an amazing prototype. So if the boss does a critical hit to us, we are going to be just constantly healing up and it really helps. It's going to help Serena keep the team alive. So we're going to put all nine into the boss and yeah it's full auto i'm just gonna turn off the bar graphs for a second so orthan i've already sort of sung his praises but yeah he's gonna be doing damage he's gonna be tanking the boss um sorietta is a great single target damage dealer um she's not built too well on this account so i definitely need to try and bump her up a little bit taylor is an absolute beast i want to do a video separately on him but yeah, he's amazing. Like, he doesn't look great, but he is a boss. So make sure you invest in Taylor. Botmark is actually also very, very good. So these are two insane champions. Uh, Serena, sorry, Serena, great healer. Um, yeah, definitely worth investing in. So Sierra Sion, um, <laughs> he looks like a lobster. And what's going to happen is... You know, he's got these three bars. I mean, if you're a level 11, you should know what happens. 
But for those that don't, he basically gets a shield at each of these bars. You gotta hit him 23 times before this red circle that comes out of him touches this red ring on the outside. If it does, you're gonna fail and it's gonna be a wipe. Uh, then he falls onto his back and it's easy pickings. I mean, you do bonus damage here to him. I mean, 233K, that's gotta be Taylor. Uh, like I said, like absolutely beast. He's at seven mil. He's beating every single person in the squad. I, mean, I don't know what's going on here, but like Orthan is out damaging Botmark, which is just crazy. Like I said, Sorietta is in pretty weak gear. I do need to, that's why I'm doing Disa Caves. I need to farm more gear so I can sort of build her up. I think she's not that evolved either. Um, but yeah, when, when that happens, she should be, you know, doing way, way more damage. But Taylor is coming in strong. And there we go, guys. The boss is down already. And look at all that legendary gear. I mean, this is going to help me massively progress in the account. I've also got like two A classes. I mean, it's a D class, but it is crit rate. And crit rate is god tier at the moment for me, especially on some heroes as well. So, oh, damn. I misclicked. I wanted to show, you know, show the damage, but okay, we're going to have to leave that. Oh, that's that's exactly the same mistake that I made before. What an absolute noob. All right, so let's go through the squad. So first on the list is going to be Taylor. And so he's legendary. Um, I do feel like that's important because you need to do a decent amount of damage to the boss Otherwise, you know, you're going to wipe. He can just, he will be able to kill you. So we're going to go full crit rate. So um, six pieces of Sun Signet. Substats, we're looking for crit rate. We're looking for crit damage. And then on the gloves, we've got crit damage. Um, you could go for crit rate if you're low on crit rate. I mean, he does um, self buff with crit rate. So if you're like sort of 60%, every time he does his ultimate, he is going to like almost hit crit cap 100%. So I would say always try to go for crit damage, but it just depends where you are in the game. Uh, attack percentage on the helmet and then attack percentage on the boots. We got 5.5k attack, 57% crit rate, and then 53% crit damage. And then we've got bot mark, who's mythic plus two. So to be fair, I think a big reason that Taylor is out damaging there. He's got his exclusive. I don't think Bot oh, Botmark does have his exclusive. Okay. But um, yeah, just you know, being that more evolved legendary compared to mythic, the stats, it does make a big difference. And I think he's in way better gear as well. Maybe not. I mean, the crit rate isn't as high, but the attack is higher. So okay. Um, so we've got two pieces Sun Signet, we've got uh, two pieces Hero, and then two pieces Overload. So that's crit damage, that's attack percentage and crit rate. So we're looking for attack percentage, we're looking for crit rate, and we're looking for crit damage. We've got crit rate on the gloves. I'd, I would like to switch these out, um, but these are really nice gloves. We've got some extra crit rate in subs and a double roll in attack percentage. Attack percentage on the helmet and then attack percentage on the boots. Sorietta is just mythic. So, yeah, definitely need to sort of try and. Sorietta, it sounds like a girl. Is it a girl or an Italian ice cream maker? <laughs> I don't know. But um, yeah, I, 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 think, I think they're a girl. So, um, again, we've got two pieces. No, we've got a broken set. So, yeah, I need to sort of maybe switch piece out. Might be able to do that now. But yeah, so we've got two pieces um, Sun Signet and then two pieces Overload. Again, just the same as any other damage dealer. Looking for crit rate, looking for crit damage and attack percentage. 4.2k uh, attack, so way lower than the other two. 47% crit rate, so a decent amount. And then 23% crit damage. And they do not have their exclusive. So... It's not really fair to compare at the moment, but later down the line, you know, when I progress in the game a little bit more and I can sort of gear all my champions up a lot better, we'll be able to compare them 
more fair, more fairly. Um, Serena is, you know, just mythic, but she is a great healer. Um, obviously, she's not doing damage like the others, but she's keeping the team alive. But yeah, I can't wait to sort of evolve her a little bit more because she is a great healer. So you definitely want to take Abundant, make that a priority because that's going to bump up the healing that she does by 35%. Uh, stats, all we're looking for is HP. So wherever we can, we're getting HP. Definitely want HP percentage on the gloves, uh, on the boots, and the headpiece. Unfortunately, we haven't got that. You know, flat, flat HP is okay. And then we've got defense on the boots as well, which is okay. It's okay. So 195k HP is not bad at all. And then Orthan. So he's the lowest out of all of them. He's only epic plus one. He is a triple S um, hero though. But he out damage most of the team. So that sort of just shows the power. He does resurrect. Um, I don't really know how that works just yet. I, I'm going to have to look into it and play a little bit more of him. But anyone that can resurrect uh, in any most games I play... He's usually going to be a strong hero. Plus, he's got protection and knockdown as well. So for the gear, we've gone for triple uh, Vigorious. If you look at the strategy, it would be good to put him in Opportunist. I just don't have that gear just yet. We're too low level on the account. Um, and then we're just looking for HP, Accuracy, and uh, Damage Reduction. Unfortunately, we're a little bit low on the account. So... I've just got triple HP at the moment, um, but I would like to maybe swap the helmet out for accuracy, but I don't know if he really needs it because um, it will reduce the damage what you do as well. So I'm a bit like, you know, do I choose crowd control over damage? I don't think I need uh, crowd control where I'm out of the game. Later on, I probably will, but not, not at the moment. But yeah, so we've got, this is like insane. 391k HP, that's got to be the most out of every single hero on my account. Let's just quickly look at Leo. Even Leo, I think, doesn't, not even close, not even close. Um, but yeah, this guy is an absolute beast. I, I'm glad that I chose him. But anyway, guys, that is pretty much the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure to smash, smash, smash that subscribe, and I'll catch you all in a video soon. Peace.